Jared Poland. Frono's photo. Dot com and a lot of people asked me for my opinion on if Nikon is going to go out of business. Now the reason this came up is because Nikon had a financial report that stated extraordinary losses in quotation marks and the fact that they've canceled their DL series of cameras before it even was released. Something that was announced almost two years ago and was delayed and delayed and delayed. So let's look at what does extraordinary losses mean. Now you have to remember that these financial reports are written in Japanese and then get translated uh, to English. And extraordinary losses, if you look at it from a business standpoint, yes, it means extraordinary losses, meaning the losses were large. But that doesn't mean that they're failing completely as a company. There are multiple sectors of Nikon, not just the camera division, and the other sectors are still doing well and starting to grow and expand. This is part of what businesses need to do. Now, a lot of the extraordinary losses came from laying off workers and paying uh, extra for their retirement or paying them early to retire. And that was announced back in November. So that was something that was already announced and has led to the extraordinary losses. And then that brings us up to the DL line of cameras, which was stupid from day one. They're trying to compete in a market that has already been established and dying for the last couple of years. You could look at Sony with their RX100 line of cameras that has been out they're at uh, the RX100 Mark V now, so they've had lots of generations of this camera. They're already established, and for Nikon to attempt to try to get into a market that is already dying at this point was just plain old stupid. Instead of focusing on innovating in other areas or competing better in other areas like mirrorless cameras, coming out with a box that can do that, that would be a good direction to go. You can't always innovate and drive the market, you know, especially when you're not as large as a camera company like Canon who has a ton of money and a lot of other divisions more so than Nikon. But let, let's take a look at what Nikon has done. Now are they innovating with the 360 camera? Kinda, but it's too early. That market is not anywhere near established and that's probably added to this extraordinary loss comment as well because that was a camera that they announced and then a year later it still hadn't come out. So it's early there. Their SnapBridge technology, their computer, te their, their, their software technology is terrible. In order to compete today in this day and age with the millennials that make up the largest port part, the, excuse me, the largest portion of the market, you need to be able to have software that works like these people are used to from their phones to all of their different devices. These things work and they connect and they are and, and they just get the job done. So people want to see that happening. So that's a problem with Nikon. They need to innovate. J in, like I said earlier, they need to innovate in the way that's smart. They need to grow. They need to get better there. Now, what I will say is that they are a hundred year old company. Now that doesn't mean that they'll see 101 because look at Kodak and look at Polaroid and look at the countless other companies that have been in the camera world that have exited or merged or sold and been shut down altogether. You never thought that Kodak would go out of business or that Polaroid, well you probably thought that Polaroid may go out of business. Nikon is here but they need to do a better job. They need to cut back on the amount of crappy cameras that they're putting out into the world. Get rid of the point and shoot line. Why do you have 8,000 different DSLRs? The same thing applies to Canon, by the way, but we're talking about Nikon. And also, I'm not here to make excuses for Nikon because I'm a Nikon shooter and that's what I've grown up doing. I'm just trying to point it out based off of my, based off of the facts and based off of what I think because people have asked. Um, just because you're 100 years old doesn't mean you will see 101. You need to keep moving in the market and getting better. That means getting, you have a D3400, you have a D5600, you have a, a D7200, you have a D500. Do you need four cameras in that lineup to do the same thing? No. Merge the 3400 and the 5600. Get rid of the 7200 or get rid of the 56. Well, no, you honestly don't need the 7200 once you get to the 500 because the 500 is just better. 3400, 5600, 500, get into your full frame. Don't have a 610 and a 750 and an 810 and all that other crap. Pare down. Get the best of the best of the best with honor, sir, out there. I want to check my notes here as well. Um, yes, there's also growing competition from people like Snap Inc., formerly known as Snapchat. They are classified as a camera company. What are they doing? They make spectacles. 
They give people a way to get pictures and video out into the world. Will they come out with more cameras, or has the cell phone market really, the mobile phone market, kind of hurt? Well, we know that it's hurt the photography world, but I still look at it as if that's training wheels to getting people into photography, and the ones that want to take it to the next level will do so, but a lot are starting to turn to Sony because of the mirrorless cameras. A lot have turned to Canon because Canon has that name recognition, and of course Nikon has name recognition as well. But with Snapchat and Facebook and Instagram, they're innovating in the camera worlds and in the photo worlds. Nikon needs to keep pushing and going that way. Is Nikon going to fail tomorrow? No. Are they, do they need to get better at what they're doing and push the envelope a little bit and get rid of some of the crap? Yes, and that's what they're doing. And that's why they have extraordinary losses in the last report, because they're, they're cutting down on what they need to cut down on. They're having people retire. They're paying them off. They're cutting out a line that didn't need to do it, and they're refocusing what they need to do, no pun intended. So this is okay, but of course the next six months to a year will determine the direction that Nikon will go. Will a company like Sony come along and try to buy them out? We don't know. Is that a possibility? Could be. Sony makes a lot of sensors that end up in the cameras that Nikon makes. That is not out of the realm of, of possibility, but don't forget that Nikon is not just a camera company. They do do other things where they are profitable. So that's my take on it. Uh, what do you guys think? Leave some comments down below. This isn't good news by any stretch of the imagination. It's not good news to have extraordinary losses, but over a hundred years of a company, they've had to probably do this in the past. They've had to grow and expand uh, and, and take losses. And the future is to be determined, as it always is. So we'll see what happens. Let me know what you guys think down below. Jared Poland, froknowsphoto.com. See ya. Subscribe now! Watch this, watch this video.